Hi, this is Malendi Narios here from the Latinum Institute, and I'm here to solve a problem which is uh, the difficulty of learning the declensions. And learning the declensions is not difficult at all. It's very, very easy. The difficult part comes in getting an instinctive knowledge of how they are used in the actual text themselves. Uh, and that just comes from reading a lot. But the technical part of just learning them, it's quick. And I'm going to give you a way to do it very, very fast. We're going to go through the first five. Um, and just each video will be one of them, and then we'll do a quick revision. So the way we're doing this is by reordering the, the cases to make it easy to make mnemonics. And for the first one, we're going to go with the casus recti together. That's the nominative and the vocative. We're going to put them together. They do belong together. The Roman grammarians always put them together. So the thing itself and when you're talking to it. So the nominative and vocative. Then the next most common uh, case that you will encounter is the accusative, and we'll put that next. And after that, the ablative, because that's also extremely common. Then the genitive, the uh, sorry, the, the dative, the case of giving, and then the genitive, the case of possessing and other things. So nominative, vocative, then the accusative, then the ablative, then the dative, then the genitive. This is the order we're going to do it in. And we are then are now going to look at an, an example um, but before we look at the example, I'm going to give you the mnemonic. And the mnemonic is simply a, a, um, a, i, i. So a, a, um, a, i, i. And the i isn't the letter i, it's the diphthong a, e. So a, a, um, a, i, i. A, a, um, a, i, i. Just remember that. A, a, um, a, i, i. And then you have your first declension. And now we're going to take a word and we're going to use a woman's name, Cornelia, because it's much easier to do it if you're dealing with a person. For the first one and, uh, and the second as well, we'll also use people's names. So Cornelia, Cornelia, a, nominative. And then we have a, a. So when we talk to Cornelia, we say, hello, Cornelia. It's also going to be Cornelia because it's a and then it's a, Cornelia, Cornelia, a, a, um. So when um, something happens, a verb happens to Cornelia, I see Cornelia, for example, Corneliam, Corneliam, a, a, um. And then the ablative, so um, from Cornelia, for example, um, Cornelia, Cornelia, a, a, um. Ah, Cornelia. I'm exaggerating this uh, this ablative ending. It's a long vowel and it's not stressed. Cornelia. So a a am a, and then the dative. I, I give a rose to Cornelia. Corneliae. Corneliae. And then the uh, final genitive is also i. A a am a i i. Genitive Corneliae. Um, Cornelia's of Cornelia. So that's the first declension. All you need to do is remember a a um a i i a a um a i i and then take a word like Cornelia and immediately start to apply it. So the name of Cornelia, the nominative by itself, Cornelia. The vocative when you are talking to Cornelia, Cornelia a a. If you see Cornelia. Right, video Corneliam. I see Corneliam. Right? So a uh, a uh, um a uh, from Cornelia a uh, Cornelia and then to Cornelia I give a rose to Cornelia and that's I Corneliai Corneliai and then the genitive Corneliai Corneliai a uh, a uh, um a uh, I I and that's your first declension. And you should have that down in five minutes, I would say. Ah, ah, um, ah, I, I. And then what you do is you look in your grammar book, get a list of words that end in the first, that are first declension words, and start to practice with them using your mnemonic. Nominative, vocative, accusative, ablative, dative, genitive. This order is the order I'm going to use for all of the declensions. And the mnemonics uh, apply for all of them. So this one is a, a, um, a, i, i, Cornelia, Cornelia, Corneliam, 
Cornelia, Corneliae, Corneliae. So, ah, ah. Nominative and vocative. Cornelia, Cornelia. The accusative, Corneliam, ah, ah, am. The ablative, Cornelia. And the dative, Corneliae. And the genitive, Corneliae. I hope that helped and that in five minutes you will have learned the endings of the uh, first declension in the singular. Bye.